gridlock is sort of a way of life here, and it won't be something that would change overnight. Uh, it's something we have lived with. Any big changes that we want to see, to tax policy, to immigration law, whatever else, it always gets hung up in Congress. That will be a fact. <coughs> Uh, before the election, and it will be a fact after the election, and even after a new president and new Congress are installed in January. So the level of panic is more uh, maybe a level of resignation. But there is concern over the possibility of turmoil surrounding the election and whether the election will be decided, uh, you know, definitively. Okay, well, yeah, let's rip up the script here, Paul. I mean, this is too much. Are you telling me, Mike Shepard, that Wednesday morning we may not know who won? Well, if you recall four years ago, Tom, it was up in the air and it really took some time to sort out all those remaining swing states. And, you know, there were disputes that the uh, then president, Donald Trump, uh, and his supporters waged across the country in courts seeking to get ballots voided. And he was pressing officials, including in Georgia, to, to try to find more votes that obviously weren't there. So we could see days, if not more than a week, of uh, uncertainty about the final result, unless it is really super decisive, including in those battleground states. Hey, Mike, what's, what's the feeling in D.C. with the type of campaign that Vice President Harris is running here? What's the feeling about how effective this campaign is or is not? Well, what they're uh, feeling among Democrats, at least, is uh, a greater sense of reassurance. They're sensing more energy from the vice president as she gets out there on the trail. Uh, they feel that she acquitted herself uh, uh, very capably during the uh, Democratic National Convention. She was able to effectively introduce herself to a country that doesn't know her nearly as well as former President Donald Trump and certainly her boss, President Joe Biden. And then, uh, more more recently, during last week's debate against Trump, uh, right. Harris performed well, and and that seemed to satisfy a lot of concerns about how she would do as an untested uh, top of the ticket candidate.